Hey guys, welcome back to The Forge. Uh, today we're gonna do some hooks for the local brewery. I'm gonna do a short run, um, 16 hooks for them. And um, yeah, follow along. I've tried a couple different ways to make this style of hook. And uh, this is what I've come up with, seems to be the most efficient way to make a hook with a, uh, a large mounting plate that takes two screws horizontally um, and has about a 3 8 uh, hook diameter. And uh, so uh, we need some tools. I'm going to use Blacksmith's Helper guillotine tool. So, sorry, Blacksmith's Helper. And my tooling for this is a radius. So we're going to use that to isolate the material for the hook itself and then uh, draw that out uh, at a hot heat. And uh, we're starting with uh, inch and a quarter by quarter bar and we're ending up with a hook that is like this. Uh, still needs some mounting holes drilled in it. But basically, this is about inch and a half in diameter. And the hook is 3 eighths wide by, I would say, 5 sixteenths with the corners knocked off of it and just rounded off. So just a simple hook. See my touch mark here. And uh, yeah, follow along. Hopefully you find this helpful. So one square of material, so inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Just back any fish lipping. Get it back to about this point here, and we can knock the corners off. All right, then we'll go back in for another heat. We'll start to draw that out. So that's it for the guillotine tool. Get in there, one more heat. What you'll notice is that I am tipping my hammer at that kind of angle in order to draw material out in this direction. Um, it works in both directions actually, this way. And uh, so I'm like this. So I'm drawing the hook longer towards the camera. See those chop marks in the in the work. And I'm going for a length to my edge of my party hole. That's that. Punch this off. I'm going to dress the end of this just on off camera with the belt sander and then uh, cut it off inch and a quarter square. Cut it off here with the saw. I'll do that off camera as well and I'll come back. Sorry about the shadow. Okay, back from the belt sander, we've dressed this just uh, a little radius on the end, cut this off on the saw, and then just rounded all the corners to match everything. So we're just a little longer than inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. And uh, back in the fire now, and then we're gonna spread this out to inch and a half round.
So now we're about inch and a half round. We're going to touch mark it and then we'll lay it out, drill and countersink two holes. Touch marked and then we'll go straight into the oil. That's it for the forging. layout and that's it drilled and countersink for two number 10 screws and um i didn't take you long for the drilling but uh just a note i was thinking as i was doing it i see a lot of guys online on youtube um particularly blacksmiths um using a countersink and the drill press to, to countersink steel which is fine obviously um but I see them often turning them way too fast. You need to select the slowest speed on your drill press in order to prolong the life of your countersink. So I've drilled and countersinked uh, a ton of holes in my in my day, and uh, I still have countersinks that I had since I was a toolmaker apprentice, and they're not uh, worn out or burnt uh, in any way. And that's because I've always turned them around 80 RPM, um, basically as slow as you can go. So that's it. That's the hook. Um, our little run of 16 for the local brewery in Perry Sound. And um, hopefully you enjoyed the uh, little tutorial. Learned something maybe. I found this to be the most efficient way to get this much mass for the plate. To have two screws side by side. Um, yeah, drawing it out of like say a 3 8 round bar and trying to spread it. I would have ended up with something paper thin. But I wanted a, a substantial hook. So we went with inch and a quarter by quarter isolated the material for the boss and then drew out the hook material itself as you saw and uh, yeah great thanks for tuning in like subscribe share if you can um with anybody you think might enjoy the content and that always helps we're at 500 subscribers now so uh that's awesome of course the goal is to get to a thousand at least um in the next six months so help me with that and uh We'll catch up with you on the next video and uh, we'll see you then. Cheers. Bye.